Good morning. Welcome back to the garden. Today is Saturday, September 18th. And you know what that means. We're going to do a quick garden review, then we're going to go to you. We're going to look at you and your contributions to this community. The beets we planted the other day for our first coal frame, they seem to be doing okay. Our patch of purple potatoes we planted for our fall harvest, <laughs> say that three times fast. They're doing really well. They're on track. I hope you join us for that episode when we go ahead and harvest these. It should be coming up pretty soon. The basil, lettuce, and carrots that we used as a test in this straw bale are still doing very well. The main thing I promised that we would follow every week until we harvested were the sweet potatoes. I actually planted that first slip off of that giant sweet potato about here. That's how much it's spread out. The second one just beside it over there a little bit. This was a wide open walkway. Now it's overtaken the straw bales. This has gone over where the old kale and arugula were from last year. The third one is off over there a little bit. And then we've got a variety of others planted throughout here. I think we're gonna have a decent little harvest. We're gonna go ahead and wait for a little bit. If you got some of my sweet potato slips and planted them, 120 days, you ought to start getting some pretty nice potatoes. If you wait right up to the frost, all they're going to do is get bigger. We're going to see what kind of harvest we can get out of this. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Now this blue bucket's been sitting in the same place it was when we planted originally. That gives you a perspective of how much this has actually grown. Along with these two turmeric, which came up voluntarily, when we harvest those, we're going to wait right till the frost before we harvest these see what we get. I must have dropped a piece of sweet potato the other day when we were pruning things back while I was laying in some mulch because there's definitely a sweet potato growing here. We'll see what we get. Well the sweet potato I planted on the other side of this path that I thought I could hide from my wife obviously has gotten doing very well. Did you know that banana peppers turn orange and even red if you leave them on for a while? Now if you're new to my channel you're in for a real treat. Saturdays we dedicate to you and what's going on in your garden. Let's take a look at a couple of our community contributions that came in this week. As summer starts to wind down, Valerie's Container Garden in Texas is kicking into third gear. Valerie, thank you for your contributions to our community. This is awesome. I never thought of drying lemongrass like that. That is great. Vinny and his spider are watching over Larry and Michelle's garden. Okra's still coming in nice. Thank you. Let's take a look at a couple more. Roger and Loretta are our new contributors to this community. This is beautiful. Thank you and welcome to the community. Leon's Missouri Container Garden is in full swing and still producing well. Thank you for the update. Looks like you got some jelly to make. This is my first year growing gourds. I think these are awesome. What else is awesome is your submissions. Please hit the like button. It really does help me bring you more episodes just like this. Even though some of the vines are about done, it's not quite done producing. And these last little ones taste so good. Our volunteer cantaloupe has quite a few melons on it right now. Aren't those contributions amazing? Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more. Clarice's husband finished her rock garden as a highlight to their landscape. This is incredible. You even snuck in some peppers. 
Thank you for your contribution to this week's episode. Jim's container garden is also still producing nicely every day. He is fermenting some okra. Thank you for this week's contribution to the community. This looked wonderful. Aren't those awesome? If you'd like to be a member of this community and share what's going on in your garden, we'd love to have you contribute. It doesn't matter if you have just a single pot on a windowsill or if you have a traditional garden. And we've got a new member, Josh, that wanted to show what you can actually do just with a single container on your windowsill. These succulents are easy to grow in a container and a great way to get started as a gardener. Josh also finished his three-stage compost bin. Leave a comment down below and help us name this handsome fellow. Josh, welcome to this community and thank you for your inspiration. Whether you're growing for food or for beauty, you can do this too. The tips from this garden or the tips from this community will help you become a much better gardener. Art, I believe we have a Crenshaw melon. Finally got a Crenshaw melon that pollinated. Even though it's outside the wire, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what we get. Here, and I was worried that they weren't going to get any higher than my waist. <laughs> they got a little taller than I thought they would. I'm probably going to have to get a ladder out before it frosts. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more contributions. As this year has progressed, we've been following Denise's container garden. As some things are finishing up, other things are kicking into high gear. And the harvest continues. As always, Denise, thank you for your contributions and your inspiration, and thank you for sharing your journey. We're all grateful you invited us to your garden. secret to the deep mulch you're gonna to have to pick a lot leave a comment down below and let everybody know you appreciate what they've contributed to this community you can do this too we encourage oh, doves as the doves fly Wow I sure hope you'll take our invitation and join this community we all have one thing in common we like to get our hands dirty we like to see things grow and if you can eat some of it even better Once in a while things just mesh together. This is a great example. I started harvesting amaranth last week and think this is something a lot of this community might like to grow. How is this all connected? Well, Caracow and Watts has some beautiful amaranth which is almost ready to harvest. I also received some contributions from a new member of this community, Melissa, and the way that she planted her garden is full of amaranth. So Melissa, you arrived at this community at the perfect time.
Wow, your garden is terrific. Thank you and welcome to our community. In upcoming episodes, we'll be exploring the lost culinary aspects of this beautiful and easy to grow plant. Who knows, our community might just set a trend. If you'd like to share what's going on in your garden, just email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. The address is in the description box below. Our mulch pile melon seems to be done, I guess. Well, we'll see what we get. This vine was dead and broke off. I'm not expecting very much. Now to quote Crocodile Dundee, that's a knife. If it would have had a little more time, it was starting to try to ripen up. I knew it was really soft on this side. See what this see if this tastes like anything. That's actually pretty sweet. I hope you'll take my invitation and become part of this community. I guarantee you all other gardeners would love to see what you're doing in your house. I do want to thank you for stopping by the garden for a visit on this Saturday morning and visiting our friends and neighbors in this community, seeing what they're doing in their gardens. So until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.